Right now we're on the Miami tour. And this is my wife right here. We're on the Miami tour. And we're fixing to take a tour to downtown Miami. This came Boulevard. I think the Keys. Little Havana. Uh, Little Havana. This and Bayside and Market. Bayside Market. So I'll get back with you tomorrow. As a tour guide, we have Miss Janet. One, two. Janet is your selective tour guide for today. We had Jan one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, we hit enough one, two. They keep on going. <laughs> and the palm trees look nice, boy. They have a little audio problem, but it's okay. Janet is your selective tour guide for today, and Mr. Ramon is your selective driver for today. So I wish you guys to enjoy the beautiful tour of Miami, and your way on your way to Miami also in the middle, you will be stopping in Little Havana. Little Havana, you got 15 minutes free, 25 minutes free time to have some mojito and some Cuban coffee. Little Havana is a great experience, so I wish you guys to enjoy this tour, make the best of it, and may the forces be with you. Buenos días, damas y caballeros, bienvenidos. Hoy tenemos a Janet como la guía turística. Es una guía turística muy formidable y van a gustar mucho de ella. Y recuerden que se pasarán en la pequeña Habana por 25 minutos para probar un mojito y un café cubano. Bienvenidos a todos a Miami y que la pasen muy bien. Buongiorno, buongiorno, señores y señoras, bienvenuti a Miami. Hoy habíamos la guida de Janet, que es una guida muy brava. Con esta guida va a disfrutar nuestra bella città. Yo te auguro a todos una buena jornada y una buena pasejada. No hay que olvidar que llegamos a Little Havana por 25 minutos para hacer el, el mojito y el café cubano. Te auguro una buena jornada. Pastel colors because they all belong to the Art Deco district. 
and the Art Deco District, there's more than 960 buildings here in Miami Beach that makes famous the Art Deco. Ahí a la derecha van a ver todos los restaurantes, hoteles y apartamentos. Todos tienen el mismo estilo, los tres pisos, los colores pasteles, porque todos les pertenecen al Distrito Art Deco. En el Distrito Art Deco hay más de 960 edificios aquí en Miami Beach que hace famoso el Distrito Art Deco. The Art Deco District is the outside structure of all these buildings that were built back in the 1930s and they maintain the original structure by the outside. Every time they have to do remodeling or construction is always done by the inside and the outside walls remain the same from the same original structure from the 1930s. El Distrito Art Deco es la estructura por fuera de todos estos edificios que fueron construidos en los años 30 y mantienen su estructura original. Cada vez que tienen que hacer remodelaciones o construcciones Siempre la hacen por la parte de adentro de los edificios y la parte de afuera siempre se queda igual con el mismo diseño de los años 30. Y como pueden ver, todos estos hoteles tienen restaurantes. Y ahora hay un restaurante de lunch y un restaurante de lunch en Ocean Drive. Todos los, todos los restaurantes aquí de Ocean Drive pueden desayunar, almorzar o comer. Wow, that's where they work out at and stuff. Outside gym. 
Yeah, that's how I do it. Well, they be working. Right in front of us, we got some trees, guys, so watch out with those trees. Heads down. See, now you see why I said we're sitting on the left side? Get down, guys. We're going to duck. This is going to be real funny. Oh, we got duck, too. Mm -hmm. Watch out there. Oh, wow. oh, this is fun. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Coming to the right, there's going to be a blue and white hotel. In the bottom of that hotel, there's a restaurant called Larios on the Beach that is owned by Gloria and Emilio Stefan. A la derecha van a ver un restaurant azul y blanco. Ese restaurant se llama Larios on the Beach. Lo dueño de ese restaurant es Gloria y Emilio Stefan. Right here to the right. Next to Larios, you have News Cafe. This is the last time Versace had his last cup of coffee before he got assassinated. Aquí a la derecha tiene News Cafe. Ahí fue la última vez que el señor Versace tomó su taza de café hasta que fuera asesinado. Watch out! The nice party. Party. And coming to the right, you're going to see a white CBS. That's where they filmed the movie Scarface with Al Pacino. That was the scene of the chainsaw in the movie. Aquí a la derecha donde está el CBS, ahí fue filmada la película Cara Cortada con la cochina. Esa fue la escena de la sierra en la I think it's down that way, right? There to the left, there's going to be a big, tall, pink building. That is South Point Park. It's a very nice park to take pictures. That's the end of South Beach, and the other side of that building is the Atlantic Ocean. Ahí a la izquierda del edificio Rosado Huarto, ese es South Point Park. Ahí es donde se termina South Beach. Del otro lado de ese edificio, Palm trees, everything.
Fifth Street. Okay. Uh, I got it. Turn it to the right. The blue and white building. There's a CVS upstairs in the CVS. It feels hot, but it feels good. Yeah, that's Gloria Stefan's recording studio right there. That's nice. Wow. That is real nice. Hey, we got another palm tree, babe.
22 uh, 23 islands in total 22 are unofficial there's only one that made island and it is the island of Miami Beach en la derecha tiene las islas de las Palmas y las islas de Hay Biscuits todas esas son islas artificiales hay 23 islas en total 22 son artificiales hay una sola isla natural que es la isla de Miami Beach also back in the 1950s Thank you. 